day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Oh, we're we're finally, we're finally getting the bishop to say something. We're finally yeah, getting the bishop. <laughs> bishop did woke up, y'all. Uh -oh. <laughs> now I gotta look down and finish the creek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. Uh, I am grateful to be able to listen to this conversation this morning. I I jotted down a bunch of notes, but I I am really glad sometimes just to be able to listen and uh, and to and to hear to have a chance to discern. And, uh, you know, all, all I can say is that, is that when we, when we embrace Christ as Savior, we came into a kingdom. Yes. And that kingdom uh, requires that we uh, be willing to deny any and all that originates out of ourselves. Because see, we don't know what we're doing. Truth to the matter, we don't know. And so the scripture said that they that are led by the Spirit of God. Yes, sir. Sons of God. All I know is this. Is that we have been called to sacrifice. Mm. God help us. We have embraced Christ. We have been assured that we'll be a part of the kingdom. But while we're here, our primary objective in order that God might gain is the sacrifice of ourselves. Hmm. It is sacrifice that is going to impact the world. That is why Jesus didn't fight back. Come on now. Come on. The thing that God is trying to put down is the very thing that we don't want to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Wait uh -huh. a minute! <laughs> well, Woo! And anybody who sacrifices this 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 rebellious, self egotistical, I'm God. Anybody who sacrifices that for the glory of God will not lose. You won't ever lose. Amen. That's the warfare. Mm -hmm. See the enemy. The enemy wants <laughs> you to be put in a situation where somehow, some way, he can cause that thing in you that God has called you to sacrifice. He wants to get, cause you to pull back and let that thing influence you. God is saying it was about sacrifice from the beginning. It'll be sacrificed until the very end. I am calling for the absolute and total denial of self. Amen. If you do that, now that's the war, real warfare. Yes, sir. That's where the enemy is really putting this stuff. All this stuff that you're looking at on the outside, Brother Jackson exactly was talking about, you, you got to look <laughs> on the surface and see what the real fight is. Mm -hmm. And the real fight is. You can handle a zero dollars with the So, if you chapter six says this, that we are in, in fact involved in a warfare. Amen, man. Second Corinthians said, but this warfare, the weapons out warfare are not carnal. Come on, brother. Come on. You see, were it not for this man's foot on our neck, yes, were it not for the Egyptian foot on the Israel's neck, were it not for white people's feet on black people's neck, this issue, this underlying powerful issue is that there's something inside of us that when put in the right condition, it will expose itself. All God is trying to do is expose this thing. Uh -huh. yeah. The people going to get killed. Evil. The enemy out there has been killing people all, all down through the ages. 
God has allowed this boy to be put to death in a way so that everybody can see it, so he can show the real on the line issue. Mm. Mm. Part of the thing is that black folks are drifted away from God, from this rich heritage that got us out of slavery without a dime. Whoa! But I acknowledge, but anybody on that side, God <laughs> came and rescued us. Woo! And as soon as we got rescued and got a little education and got a little money, we f we made the same mistake. So we abandoned God, and God said, "Look here, I got you out." As a matter of fact, you ain't all the way out yet. Amen. And so this whole thing really comes back to this underlying issue of sin that dwelleth in me and this thing that says I can I can live without God. No, you can't. No, you can't. See, not only, see, not only is he exposing this problem in the people who are suffering, he's exposing it in the perpetrators. Come on. Come on. Woo! God of God. God's got a problem with humanity. He's got a problem with racism. God got a problem with all of us. But what we got to do is that we got to be willing to snap this thing out in our own life. Wow. Once we're willing to sacrifice ourselves, we can Woo. see clearly and we can hear what God is saying to us. Woo. I that not only is just exactly them them God, that we go out there either, didn't we? Woo! I, I, I wasn't out there. Anyway, I was about to protest him. Ah. I know. No. You see, you see, what I'm saying is, see, we, we've got to come to a place where we embrace and look at what God is really trying to deal with, and he's trying to deal with our holding on to something for ourselves. Wow. Listen, he wants he want absolute and total surrender. You know, there's something that... <laughs> we, got, we got a problem with that. Whoa. We, we, and I, and I think we kind of perceive it as being, uh, what's the word, cowardly? But it's actually using a tactic that King used, but King was not passive. He was he was nonviolent. And we've been called to that same task. We can address unrighteousness. We have to. Wow. You know, in accordance with how the Lord says it. But what's the repercussion of it? To call this guy, to tell this guy, you know, you're a murderer. You know, all murderers just have their part in the lake that burn with fire and brimstone. But if we say you're a murderer and you're a racist, what does that have to do with fire and brimstone? Woo! We stop it. We stop the addressing of the issues at the carnal level. Yeah. And we never draw, bring the people into the spirit realm where God dwells, I mean, and, 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 and rules. We never get them there. Wow. We stop short. I just want you to stop killing black folk. No, I want you to get saved. <laughs> it's obvious you ain't saved because you're killing black folk. I want you. To, I want you to get saved, Mr. President. Cause you lie like a rug. <laughs> we. I'm addressing. I'm addressing your situation. Cause your symptoms are saying that you're still dead. Cause you still keep doing dead stuff. Wow. And we are called to address those kind of issues. And it's not so much to point out the finger, but to point out the man who is Jesus of Nazareth, and hoping that at some point that Jesus gets this. this we hook this man up to Jesus. Cause if, believe it or not, if Donald Trump gets to know who Jesus is, he'll become one of the best presidents we ever had in his country. Without Jesus, he gonna die and go to hell, regardless of what he does with the country. The country might survive him, but he ain't gonna survive himself. And it's hard to get to that point as long as I keep, and I'll tell you, man, this one's been a struggle for me on a personal note. If I keep judging it by how I'm dealing with me, you know, you really have to, at some point, Lord, you're going to have to help me because I can't get past this dude. <laughs> he do too much that I just don't like. But it's not about me. It's about his soul, actually. It's about his relationship with the Lord. Would God sacrifice America for the sake of Donald Trump? I, uh, I, I'm going to say one thing. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he yeah, would. Hey, yeah, he would, brother. You got to remember, <laughs> Jesus sac would sacrifice himself just for one. Just for one. That's yeah. hard, isn't it? Yes, it is. That, my right. brother, is a hard saying, but <laughs> it's most probably true. <laughs> it would. Yeah, I'm gonna oh, think, that was... think about. It. I want all of you to think about this when you when you when we chuck this thing up. Go back and look at the video. Go back and watch the actual footage from the from the murder. 
when this cop killed that guy. I want you to look at the expression on that guy's face. The cop. Yeah. I want you to look at his attitude, his demeanor. I want you to look at everything about him. Because what I want you to realize is what you're looking at, the very thing that's moving him is in you. Mm. See, see that, that's what we don't want to do. And see, right. that's the thing that God hates. It evidences itself in that guy in one way. We suppress that side, but it manifests itself in us in other way. But it's the same thing. Amen. It, the root is the same thing. Same, same nature. And then that's what we've got. That's what we've got to bring. That's why sacrifice is the only way. Wow. That sacrifice is will open that thing up. Then God can make you a new creature. And now you can be used to powerfully impact the world for the kingdom. Amen. Now, Amen. We come from that perspective. Amen. We will be hated of all nations too. And we're gonna have to, so we, have, God. we have to wrap it up too. That. <laughs> That's some good all conversation. Right. <laughs> but we gotta do this communion too. All right. <laughs> all Amen. Right. That is a blessing. A well, Chris, you gotta send that say, Chris. <laughs> all right. <laughs> no, I've been listening today. I'm just listening today. Amen. <laughs> hey I, 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 I see some good points out of it. Yeah, hey, Chris, yeah, you run to the situation we need to pray about. Give me a call. <laughs> hey, all I got to say, hey, pray for me a lot, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. pray for each other. Yes, right. sir. Well, yes, I, sir. I, think, I, I think you made a good point, though, is that some of the things that we got issue with is it, is it in us? And some of Chris, I think, is, is it been planted in us. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's been planted over years. Matter of fact, we've been planted in some of the behavior of some of the people it's been over years, Chris. And, yes, and one of the things I'm concerned about is some people say that some of these people are operating out of fear of becoming mm -hmm. just like us. You know that minority status. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They're scared yeah. because they know the evil that they perpetrated and they think we're going to take retribution. But like mm -hmm. the, or like Jim said, that's never a thought in my mind. I ain't really trying to get at no white people. Right. But the injustice is, is annoying, but yeah. it's not something that we cannot overwhelm. Right. The, if God is with us, we exactly. just, to me, just need to make sure that we're on the Lord's side. Then we got to worry about nothing else. We will be the top of the food chain. Yeah, yeah God before you who can be against you, and I believe that that's true. In the top of the food chain are Christians, white, black, Jewish. red, brown. You know what I mean? That's right. It's all of us in Christ Jesus. That's that's, right. that's where it is. Nobody has to worry about being a minority. This that's one thing we talked about when you after when you left for a second. So many people are operating out of fear, fear of becoming something. Uh, and we're saying is we're not coastable. <laughs> We're not, we're not the Serbians or stuff like that. We're not gonna try to, nobody's gonna try to sit there, at least I'm aware of, and especially since that's not God's way of taking revenge, but to love one another. And that's what we want. We don't wanna replace oppression with oppression. There you go. I don't think God's gonna do that. <laughs> Come on, brother. We wanna replace, we wanna replace oppression with love. Amen? Yep. All right, uh, Brother Jackson. All right, gentlemen, it's been it's been a, 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 a well. The, the glorious the goes to God. Amen. Amen. Let us pray, dear Father in heaven, Lord. You once again have given us revelations that uh, by ourselves. Uh, we probably would not have been able to, to, to receive. We thank you, dear Father, for your word. We thank you for who you are. We thank you that even though there are situations that blow our minds uh, for what we see or for what we feel, for how it's impacted us, uh, dear Lord, you continue to remind us that we are to 
uh, see things uh, fr from the spirit. We are to see things uh, in, in the in the realm where we can't see with our eyes, but but with faith and, and, and with the vision that has been put forth before us by your son Jesus Christ and his victory on the cross. We thank you for his sacrifice and his example. And we thank you for the message this morning that we need to be ready to likewise sacrifice ourselves, dear Lord, for the spreading of the word and for the saving of souls, not for our glory, but for your glory. And we thank you that you loved us so much that you gave your son, Jesus Christ, that he would live and he would stay in fellowship with you and that he suffered in our place and bled and died in our place. But he was victorious, dear Lord, so that we would have a direct relationship with you. Dear Jesus, we remember you. Help us to remember more of your word. Help us to continue to grow in your word so that we can be the, 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 the kingdom citizens that you want us to be. And so that people can see the light that is in us, which is you, dear Jesus. And right now we take this bread and we know that it symbolizes your body that was that was beaten and that was sacrificed for all of mankind and we take this bread right now and we eat it in remembrance of you amen amen and now we'll take this cup dear father this contents represents the pure blood of your son jesus christ for all those who believe in him are washed by his blood and are made righteous in your sight. We thank you, dear Father, for love, for mercy, for compassion, for your faithfulness. We thank you, dear Father, for in the faults that we had, you, you continue to work on us. Yes. You've allowed us to have this moment of fellowship. Yes. And we know that this message will go out and we know that it will impact someone else. Yes. We thank you, Father. We say these things in Jesus' precious and holy name in ways that we can't even express in words. We say these things in your precious name, dear Jesus. Amen. 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 Father, I can only just exhale right now for, for this <laughs> revelation that you continue to give us every week that we come together in your word. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you for allowing us to study mm. and then apply what we have learned yes, in our lives so that we don't get the glory, mm. but you get the glory. You get the glory. And that other people may be spiritually impacted and influenced. Yes. And we pray, Father, that they make the right decision because we know that you can know about your word. Yes. But if we don't do your word, if we don't Come live on. your word, and if we're not sincere in your word, then yeah. it means nothing. If there's no love in what we do, mm. then it means nothing. Nothing. So we thank you, dear Father, for all that you have presented to us today. Yes. And yet we know that you will continue to, to work on us and mold us and maybe even break us back down if we, if we have to. Oh, no. if you, so oh, that we can be the children that you want us to be. Yes. Say these things in Jesus' precious and holy name and help us to learn how to sacrifice self, dear Lord. Amen. 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 Brothers, whoo! <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah.